For Karen Burroughs Alessi, work has always been an important part of her life. I'm a type A, so I don't know what I would do if I wasn't working. So when she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis 20 years ago, she kept it to herself, worried it would affect her career. My biggest fear was when you tell someone there's something wrong with you, they immediately imagine the worst possible scenario and they marginalize you. As it became a little bit more difficult to put in the hours on site, I went to them and told what was going on. So um, it's worked out pretty well. Karen's company has been flexible with her, allowing her to build a schedule around her needs. I leave work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I come to the gym and I try to do it three times a week, it's usually two, uh, work out, then I go home and it gives me more energy so I can work and get back on the computer and do what I have to do. One of her caregivers, Emily Cade, says Karen's story is not unusual. So many people are diagnosed with multiple sclerosis between the age of you know, your 20s up to your 50s and that's your prime time for working. And while MS symptoms can vary greatly between patients, there are some common threads cognitive dysfunction and fatigue and um, those are two of the symptoms that really can affect people at work. Fatigue can take on many different um, faces for patients and, and, and folks with MS. Someone described it best when they said it is like walking around in a fur coat in a swimming pool um, and I thought that was such a great example. I mean you just, you know, clients could just really feel like it is just, it just drags you down. To combat fatigue, she suggests adjusting your schedule, taking breaks when you know your energy level will be at the lowest, using a walker or cane to help you move around, and even using a cooling vest to help keep your body temperature lower. Heat can really increase the symptoms of um, MS. To deal with cognitive function problems like memory loss, decreased attention span, and issues prioritizing tasks, Cade says, if you have meetings that you're better in the mornings, set those in the mornings when you can. If you're in an office environment that's really loud and you just cannot focus, kind of feel it out. See if there's an office you noticed out in, you know, in a quieter area and then, you know, determine if that's something that you could speak to your supervisor about. The have bottom line, says Cade. You know, you've heard before, MS, I have MS, but MS does not have me. And I think that is something that's so important for people who are in the workforce to know, take it day by day. Feel it out, get your param you know, get your feelers on how things are, and then make good judgment calls related to it. As for Karen, she says continuing to work gives her a <laughs> tremendous sense of purpose. And of course, helps her continue and to make a living. I would tell someone, don't ever give up. It's I mean it's it's in you. And you've got and don't forget to ask for help because there's resources all around you. And if if you don't, shame on you. Adam McCoy, CNN.